Lomita man overcome by carbon dioxide fumes at LAX remains hospitalized tonight in a coma. The family of Christopher Abraham is asking the public for prayers and support with hope he recovers. KTLA's Rick Chambers live from UCLA Medical Center in Westwood tonight. Rick. Yeah, Micah, this is a guy in the prime of his life. He's married, he's got two small children, and suddenly his whole world goes upside down because of a bizarre accident where he works. Tonight, his family is with him at his bedside here, and they are looking for some answers. All of our family are here taking shifts, holding his hands, talking to him, and making sure that whatever senses he does have, he knows that we're there for him and he can come back and make it back. He's talking about his nephew, Chris Abraham. A 36-year-old pipe fitter from Lomita injured Halloween morning during an accident at LAX. He's in critical condition. The doctors have put him in a medically induced coma because he's been suffering from seizures repeatedly and he won't let him, his brain heal. Chris was part of a four-person crew doing repairs in an electrical vault at Terminal 8. While Chris was on a ladder fixing a leaking pipe, the fire suppression system suddenly malfunctioned, flooding the room with carbon dioxide which quickly began sucking the oxygen out. He made sure that his helpers got out, and when they turned back, he wasn't with them in the exit. And they looked in the, and he was on the ground. The carbon dioxide displaces the oxygen in the individual's bloodstream, and they went into cardiac arrest. Airport police began CPR on Chris and got him breathing again. Their blood is, is pumping on their own now, so they're getting definitive care at a local hospital. Chris was brought here to the Reagan UCLA Medical Center and put in that coma so his brain could mend. We still foresee long-term complications. The cost is devastating to our family emotionally, and um, we really ask for your support and your help. Family members say that doctors may bring Chris out of that coma this weekend to see if the brain is getting better or the seizures persist. So at this point, the prognosis is still unknown. It's this weekend that is going to be pivotal for Chris's future. We don't know right now whether the family is considering any type of legal action, but they do have a GoFundMe page that's been set up. Go to KTLA.com. We've got a link there for you. In Westwood, I'm Rick Chambers. Guys, let me throw it back to you in Hollywood. Rick, thank you.